Hi guys, it is getting close to midnight here on Monday night, September 22nd, 2014. So I guess I'd better get this rat out of the way while I can, while it is still Monday, September 22nd, 2014. Your old depressed collapsitarian celebrating <laughs> celebrating a 55th or is it 56th turn of the screw 55 years of the turning of the screw here in Hambone Little Tales life here on this Monday night in Doomsday Trailer and I'm just gonna put this out there I don't know whether I'm gonna make this in public or not. This is just kind of for my own notes. Play back in a few years from now what was going on in my life on my 55th birthday as I begin the second half of my 50s. Second half of the 50s. And let me tell you guys, it's not a good start to the second half of a not-so-good decade. I tell you, the first half of the 50s were not so good, especially coming on the heels of the second half of my 40s. So, while, <laughs> while I'm thinking of it sitting here alone in some shithole doomsday trailer out beside, behind some junky old house in Paonia, Colorado. This is a this is a recurring theme that I've managed to manifest in my life in my 50s is finding myself in junky old trailers with no plumbing in, uh, in what looks like Sanford and Son's yard. Uh, no matter where I go, I bring this manifestation with me. But it was 10 years ago tonight. 10 years ago tonight was the, this is the end of the 10 year anniversary of Burning Pig, which is my 45th birthday in South Austin, Texas. It was it was the 15 minutes of my life when this dog had his 15 minutes of fame. Actually, that party went on for 38 hours. 38 hours uh, before I finally, at the end of it, at about 10 o'clock on Sunday night, kicked out 17 people who were still in my house. This is when I was living at First and Annie Street in the heart of South Austin, Texas, when I had over 300 people, over 300 people at my birthday party. There were actually 17 Virgo birthday parties going on at once. And September 22nd does make me a Virgo. There were 17 of us. I can't remember whether there were 17 birthday cakes or not. We had two pigs in the ground. We roasted two pigs that night at Burning Pig, which took about 10 minutes to be uh, separated from their bones. You can imagine... And it was this old dog's 15 minute of fame. So, 10 years ago tonight, I was surrounded by 300 of my closest friends in South Austin, Texas. And tonight, while I can think of parties going on in at least three places in South Austin, Texas tonight, I find myself sitting alone in a ratty old trailer talking to myself 
and anyone on the planet having any interest in listening in on this drunken stoned rambling of this uh, depressed collapsitarian on his 55th birthday taking a long hard look at his life and uh, <laughs> you know guys I'm not even going to sit here and try to figure out how I went from having 300 of my closest friends around me 10 years ago to sitting alone in this trailer other than to say it has been an interesting 10 years. It has definitely been an interesting 10 years and I guess for what is it the past going on four years now I have invited the planet in on my little teeny weeny life so you guys were not around when I had the 300 people. That's when I was actually working for the world's biggest drug testing company. I was a driver for the world's biggest drug testing company, Quest Diagnostics. I was making $23,000 a year, which is about three times what I'm making now, of course. And I was pretty much completely clueless. It was the greatest moment of my life when on many levels I was the single most clueless and in denial about what is going on on this planet than ever. You take your own, uh, you make your own conclusions from that statement that probably at the point I was the most clueless. What well, was coming down on this planet is when I was, I had the happiest night of my life. Ten years ago tonight. And uh, decide whether you want to become a collapsed, a depressed collapsitarian. So I'm thinking about some of my famous birthdays. So uh, when I was 18, so how many years ago? Tonight, 55 minus 18, I'm pretty stoned. I think that's 37 years ago. Well, actually today, where I found myself on my 18th birthday was in a shrink's office, a psychiatrist in Atlanta, Georgia named Perry Cease. On my 18th birthday, as I was pretty much suicidally depressed. It was the day back then you were a grown-up at 18, at least in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, whatever year that was, 1977, I believe. When you hit 18, you were a legal adult, meaning that you could buy alcohol is what it meant. But unlike tonight, when I bought myself a bottle of uh, Ornitos Tequila, the day I was 18, I had no alcohol because that was the day that Dr. Perry C. Psychiatrist put me on these antidepressants called Triavil. Good God Almighty, guys, these rhino tranquilizers called Triavil. And I was strung out for one year on these antidepressants. And that started, as I say, I believe 37 years ago, the day I turned 18. When uh, at that point, I was uh, about this far from killing myself. So this is not a new trend in my life to be a depressed collapsitarian. But things had improved because the next birthday that stands out, uh, I was 21 years old. Uh, the day I really turned into a man and I was rewarded with three blowjobs by my, don't worry, they were all my female friends. Uh, the 21 year old little stud, a hand on little tail, 
getting blowjobs from three different female friends of mine. And just in case there's any girls listening to this, you, you know, ladies, I, I just want to clue you in on something. If you're ever looking for a gift for your male friends, hell, probably your brother for that matter, it, it, it's free. It's free. I guarantee that it will be appreciated. I, I can virtually guarantee any male friend of yours who you give a blowjob to for his birthday will be very appreciative and it won't cost you a penny. So just a note to the ladies, an excellent birthday present. Uh, I am available here in this doomsday trailer. Of course, I have not... Uh, when was my last blowjob? I'm going on three years ago. And the last time... So I was going on five years. Going on five years. I, I did have sex with one woman in my 50s to get me to about four months past my 50th birthday. And that was it. That is when I kissed a pussy goodbye in my life at age 50. Although I did have one nice blow job, and I do appreciate that one. But when I was 21, so what was that? 30, 34 years ago today, had my little tail, got three blow jobs. And I think it's safe to say that will never happen again. That will never happen again. And unless all the ladies on Humpty Dumpty Tribe feel sorry for me and come. Hunt me down in Dave's Day trailer. You know, it's I have some vague memory of my 30th birthday. I remember I was eating dinner with my brother that I've never mentioned. The guy, I don't know if he's dead or alive. And we, I was living in Santa Cruz, California, and we went down to Monterey to Fisherman's Wharf back when I was still eating seafood. And I remember coming back home, and when we pulled into the driveway, uh, I noticed that my friends were having a, because I caught them in the act, having kind of a surprise party for me on my 30th birthday. And uh, I remember my brother saying how sorry he felt for me that I had to endure a surprise party. So he hightailed it uh, to wherever he was sleeping without having to go to the party. So I remember that at age 30. I remember, oh yes, don't forget age 37 outside of Eugene, Oregon, the second to the last uh, battle with my dear sweet ex-wife on my birthday. It was, it was, so when was this one? 18 years ago tonight that uh, I had my last birthday dinner with my dear sweet ex-wife and it was a memorable one. Us, us getting in a knockdown drag out fight. It was the night that I understood that my marriage was over and there was no saving it. It actually limped along till October 11th. I don't even remember if I've ever told the ham sandwich story about how that marriage ended. No, that couldn't have been age 37. I'm sorry guys. That had to have been Good God, I had to be been, I guess, 32. I don't even remember, to tell you the truth. Anyway, what year was that? Good God Almighty, that would have been September 22nd, 1990. 14 years ago, 14 years ago tonight, that famous birthday. All right, what birthday? Oh yes, the uh, it was my 37th birthday 
kind of following my eight, so it was 19 years after my 18th birthday, that was when my mother was dying of cancer. And I was up in this cabin in North Georgia that we owned on my 37th birthday. And that was the second closest I have ever come to committing suicide. On my 37th birthday, I had written the suicide note one of two times I actually got as far as writing my suicide note and I can't even remember how I was taking myself out that night. Probably Darvon. My guess is it was an overdose of Darvon. As I say, I had, uh, I had written out the note and I was drinking an entire bottle of, I don't know whether it was tequila or vodka or rum, but anyway, what I was doing, I was going to get down to the bottle of rum and at the end of it, take about 30 hits of Darvon on top of the alcohol poisoning. And I was about two-thirds of the way through my bottle when my sister called and wished me a happy birthday and so doing saved my life. I don't know whether she's aware of this. I think I've shared this story with her. So that was the 37th birthday and two years later on my 39th birthday. 39, so this was, so that was 18 years ago, so we have 18, 37, that was 18 years ago, so 16 years ago, on my 39th birthday, I was at an orgy in Lake Apopka, Florida, uh, Ramona's Pleasure Palace, with my dear sweet friend Crystal with a K. Crystal is a sport. I haven't talked much about Crystal on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Crystal, if you're listening, that was a memorable evening. The, the last scene I had at Ramona's Pleasure Palace in Lake Apopka, Florida on September 22nd, 1998 was, was like trying to tiptoe my way across this king-size bed. There were 14 people, as I recall, 14 people fucking together on this bed. And, and uh, it was getting kind of weird, and I had to go tiptoe my way through this mass of writhing naked bodies to tell Crystal it was time to go home, to tell her new friends goodbye. And that was my last orgy. That was my last orgy. Was 16 years ago tonight, and I assure you, uh, that was my last orgy. There will never be another orgy in Hambone's life. Uh, you can take that to the bank for sure. So that was 39. A year later, I remember being in Santa Cruz, California for my 40th birthday 15 years ago tonight and uh, I was doing a roofing job in Ben Lomond, California. Good God, guys. I, I used to do quite a bit of roofing jobs. I remember the day I turned 40 years old climbing I is when I finished this job, climbing down the ladder and saying, Hambone, you are 40 years old. You never, never need to roof another house again. And that's pretty much, I have been, I have patched a few roofs in 15 years, but that was my last real roofing job. 15 years ago tonight, 10 years ago tonight, I've already mentioned 
I've already mentioned that was when I was living in Austin, Texas and my 45th birthday, the greatest night of my life, eclipsing the orgy and the three blowjobs, uh, the night of Burning Pig, 350 of my closest friends. And I do remember that night getting, it was at three or four sexual favors from female friends. I didn't collect that night in front of 350 people. I didn't, you know, I wasn't into orgies by then. But, uh, but yes, as recently as 10 years ago, the main birthday present that I received uh, was sexual favors from female friends and alcohol and marijuana from uh, my male friends. I am glad to say that my one birthday present here in Paonia, Colorado was a bag of weed. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So that was 45... 50 was not a good one. 50 I spent uh, in the Amazon jungle with a friend not a good uh, not a good start to the 50s. We got stuck on the side of the Mother of God River. I had some fantasy that I was going to spend my 50th birthday 110 feet up in a Kapok tree in the Peruvian Amazon and I went and did ayahuasca with some shaman the night before my birthday and he was going to give us a ride to the Kapok tree but somehow I never got that ride from my ayahuasca roll. so I ended up stuck on the side of the Mother of God River for three days including my 50th birthday and uh, I need to dig up the the video of the great chicken fiasco when I uh, anyway that was a hilarious video I think it's gone forever the famous chicken chasing video so that was 50 I have some vague memory of 52 being in South Se Peru, finishing the thatched roof on my house in Peru, which I still have, and I guess it's still for sale. Anyone wanting to buy this house in the Amazon jungle, I remember on on my birthday, the very last palm frond going up in the roof, being stung by a bullet ant on my little finger. If you have never been stung by a bullet ant on your birthday or any other day of the year, uh, be, be at least grateful for that on your birthday if you have never been stung by a bullet ant. So that's how I brought in year 52 in South Sea, Peru. That was three months before the single darkest day of my life. But I was still manic at that point. I was manic. Last year things had degraded pretty bad. It was a it was a mixed bag. Last year tell some nasty knockdown brutal ugly fight to wrap up my birthday party last year. I think there were about twenty five people who showed up for that party. I was down from three hundred to about twenty five. And it, hit, and it ended on a truly bloody note. And the whole first day of, of my 54th year, so one year ago, the day that's getting ready to start, was a pretty horrible day in South Austin, Texas. And so now I am in Paonia, Colorado, sitting here bored off my ass, totally alone, half drunk, two-thirds stoned, thanks to the thanks to the one birthday gift I got to get today, this 
little bag of weed. You know, it's hilarious, guys. This is my eighth day as a Colorado resident. I've been living in Colorado for a week where it is completely legal to uh, smoke weed. I have been here for over a week in Paonia, Colorado, uh, the hometown of both Terrence McKenna and Paonia Gold, famous for decades for the weed that comes out of here. There's people growing weed in their gardens all over town, and I have not had one hit, not one hit of marijuana since I arrived in Colorado as a Colorado resident one week ago. I have not smelled it. I have not encountered anybody smoking it, selling it. Here I am in Paonia, Colorado, Terrence McKenna's hometown, uh, getting completely cleaned out of weed, but at least I did manifest a bag of weed. Last year's crop, but it's quite tasty, and uh, so it has been me and Brother Cannabis celebrating my... Uh, my 55th birthday, which brings me up to this rant. And uh, so just in case I can't remember what it was I was doing, what was I doing the night I turned 55 in about 15 years, I can, well in 10 years I'll look back on this video and I wonder if Ten years from now, will I have 300 of my closest friends around me? Will I be dead with any luck? That's my first choice. Or will I be sitting alone, half drunk and two-thirds stoned, in another doomsday trailer for the end times, in some other town. I guess uh, the universe will decide where I will be on my 65th birthday. But assuming I am still alive, that there is a global industrial civilization, and there is such a thing as YouTube, I will, uh, I hope I will be posting my 65th depressed, collapsitarian birthday rant. Actually, I hope I will be long dead because, as always, and uh, what I would like for my birthday, and I am asking the universe, I'm putting it out there in the universe, that I would like to lay my head down on a goose down pillow on this beautiful night in Paonia, Colorado, drift off to sleep with this warm buzz flowing through my brain and never wake up. That is my birthday wish for myself that this is the last Humpty Dumpty tribe, but something tells me I will wake up tomorrow age 55 and come at you with whatever's on my mind tomorrow. So for the one or two people uh, on this planet listening to this, I'll be amazed if I get to the end of this myself in 10 years. I'm going to say happy birthday to myself because there's sure as shit ain't anyone else here and say, uh, bye guys.